The source is here today at Falls View Casino to visit with a pop music legend. Bill, you know this guy's voice from your radio, his face from your television. He's the lead singer of the Monkees. It's Mickey Dolenz. So, Mickey, welcome to Niagara. Thank have you, you you've played the casino before? Yeah? Yes, I have, yeah, a couple times, if I'm not mistaken. And you just came back from a very long tour. It was 66 yeah. dates over a oh, period of, okay. yeah, yeah, I know. Where were some of your favorite spots on that? I don't remember. <laughs> it was all blur? <laughs> well, yes, we know every night it's a different place, and uh, I don't tend to remember places, uh, I remember people okay. that I've met along the way, but I don't tend to remember particular, because all I see is the hotel yeah. room and a limo and the backstage and then to the airport. That's true. And they you have... Pay, they pay us to travel. We sing for free. There you go. That's how it is. It's the life. And you're doing three shows here, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. It's nice to sit down in one place for, for more than one, yeah. one day. Usually they're just one night. You probably get to check out the city a bit too when you're staying. <coughs> no? Yeah. You're just so busy. Uh, no, because I uh, you know, need a lot of rest okay. my age. And also it's kind of cold out there. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's brutal. I was going to say, sucks you have to experience Canada in this. Funny, it was it was terrible in uh, in Los Angeles when I left. It was oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was 79 degrees and clear, and I had to put on a long sleeve T-shirt. Oh. Welcome here, then. <laughs> um, I was going to ask you too. I loved your album that came out in 2016, the new one, and you had a lot of contemporary. I'm a big fan of the Monkees, but you collaborated with uh, a Gallagher. You had uh, your friend from Fountains of Wayne. What was that like experiencing uh, contemporary artists with the Monkees sound? Well, I was familiar with Adam Schlesinger, of course, yeah. and Noel Gallagher and Paul Weller. Mm -hmm. uh, Rivers Cuomo, I, of course, I'd heard of, yeah, of him, and Ben Gibbard, of course. Um, <clears throat> but not as familiar as I was. I was familiar with uh, Adam Schlesinger from Fountains of Wayne because of the, that Tom Hanks movie, The Thing You Do. I love that. I know. And the song, um, She Makes Me Laugh, it kind of reminded me of that. But it was like, a, I, that's one of my favorite movies, too. Yeah. Do you find that movies like that, um, and like the 60s resurgence that's happening, do you find that there's a lot of younger fans, maybe like myself, even in the audience of these shows? Yes, it's quite common to have uh, two or three generations, yeah. actually. Uh, of fans from the original, of course, uh, show and in the 60s and then the big uh, reunion, reunion in uh, 86. Right. And then over the years, you know, the show gets played here and there on, on television and uh, of course the records keep going and so, yeah, yeah I feel blessed to, uh, to have been part of it. You know that it's true. It's a little bit me. And it's a little bit you. The vast majority of the show are the hits, of yeah, course. Uh, and when it's with uh, the other guys, then of course they sang stuff too on the uh, on the albums. When it's my solo show like this one, um, I always do all the hits in right. their in their entirety, and and um, n I don't do medleys and yeah. stuff. But I will do n some non-monkey stuff. Okay. But it will, <clears throat> if I do, there is a. a uh, there's always uh, some kind of story attached to it, like for instance, uh, today and uh, uh, next, over the next couple of days, I do um, "Johnny Be Good" by Chuck yes. Berry, and <clears throat> but before I do the song, I say I'm doing going to do a Chuck Berry tune. You may wonder why it's because it was my audition piece for the Monkees. Oh, okay. So, so you get the behind the scenes look. Yeah. yeah so then, they, they, uh, otherwise, they're they're looking up at me, going, "Why is he covering a Chuck Berry tune?" <laughs> <laughs> So I'll tell stories about, you know, being at Beatle recording sessions, yeah. for instance, and stuff like that. It's amazing. But I going back a little bit, um, so tell me about, you know, pre-Monkey days. Like, how did you, how did that come to be? Were you in any bands prior to the Monkees? Yes, I was. I was in a couple of cover bands. Okay. I, um... Like blues one, covers? Or sorry? Like blues covers? What kind of... No, rock and roll mostly. Okay. Like, well, that was when I would have been doing Chuck Berry's right. uh, Johnny Be Good, for instance. Okay. Bat, you know, or... Barrett Strong Money or Walk on the Dog or <coughs> House of the Rising Sun and, nice. you know, early 60s. Mm -hmm. And before that, I was doing folk music just by myself and a little bit with my sister. Um, and then uh, was, I was going to college to be an architect okay. uh, when the Monkey Audition came along. Yeah. That must have been surreal. Yeah, I was going to be an architect. If I couldn't make it, I could fall back <laughs> on showbiz. Yeah, it's a pretty <laughs> solid fallback, an architect. <laughs> Sometime in the morning, 
A simple thought may occur to you and you hold her. Well, the monkeys was kind of like a, a musical, like an old Marx Brothers musical uh, on television, basically. Yeah. You know, it was, in fact, it was. Uh, an old friend of mine, John Lennon. Uh, did, oh, did I drop that yeah. name? So, oh, I think you did. <laughs> and rightfully so. <laughs> He's the first one that actually, I remember saying, I like the monkeys, I like the Marx Brothers. Mm -hmm. And it's true, the monkeys was, was much more like the Marx Brothers than, yeah. say, the Beatles. So it, was, it was like a little half hour Marx Brothers musical on television. That's true. Yeah. And I was saying too to Jack today that I was watching Halloween in, uh, around Halloween time, and I noticed, I'm like, is that a monkey selling him a gun right there in the store? I was like, do you thinking, do you have any plans to pursue more film projects in the future? I got a kick out of that. I did too. <laughs> you I were mean, great though. I, I, I was thrilled when Rob uh, Zombie asked me to do it. Um, I was thrilled because I don't get asked to do a lot of a dramatic yeah. kind of straight roles. It's a stray from the monkey's comedy and whatnot. Yeah, so I was thrilled uh, to do that. It was a great, great part on my reel. And you're touring with Mike coming up, yeah? Yep, in March. We tour uh, the States, and then in June, we tour Australia and New Zealand. Wow. So we keep, uh, you know, watch the skies for more announcements. Mm -hmm. um, uh, like I said, the, the next big thing coming along is uh, Mike and I doing a, a show in, in March. So lucky for you, Mickey still has two more shows at Fallsview Casino. For more information on upcoming shows and how you can get tickets, you can visit their website. In Niagara Falls, reporting for The Source, I'm Bianca Tamori.